Hello everybody, it's Reverend Liz doing collective worship today. The Lord be with you. Now today I'm busy at home and I've been catching up on a few things around the house and I've been doing a bit of mending. Now I've got this lovely white shirt here which I need to wear very soon because I need to look smart for a band competition and when I looked at it I realised one of the buttons had come off so I'm just uh, in the process of getting it uh, sewn back on again and I find mending really satisfying because it means that when something gets broken you don't have to just throw it away and buy a new one you can mend it and make it as good as new again. Now sometimes it's important that we mend our broken friendships and relationships too because sometimes things go wrong and friendships get broken and people fall out and what's really important is that we find a way to be friends again and to say sorry and to forgive the person who we've fallen out with. And it's particularly important because this half term we're thinking about the theme of forgiveness and what that means. Now, I've got a story from the Bible to read you about forgiveness that might help us think about what it means. Let me read it to you. Jesus' friend Peter came up to him one day and asked him a question. If some, someone does something wrong, something that upsets me, and keeps on doing these wrong things, how many times should I forgive him? Should I forgive them as many as seven times? Jesus looked Peter in the eye, shook his head gently and replied, No, not seven times. You should forgive 70 times seven times. Then Jesus told Peter a story to help him understand more about forgiving and about living life God's way. Once upon a time, there was a king who had lots of servants. One day, the king was checking through his account books when one of the servants was brought into the room. This servant owed the king some money rather a lot of money. In fact, he owed him thousands of pounds, but he did not have enough money to pay the debt. Sell this man as a slave, shouted the king, and his wife and children too. That way he will have enough money to pay me what he owes me. The servant fell down on his knees in front of the king and pleaded for mercy. I'm so sorry, he said. If you'll just give me a bit more time, I'll earn the money and then I'll pay you back everything I owe you. The man looked so sad that the king felt sorry for him and in a kind voice he said, That's okay, I forgive you and I'm cancelling your debt. The servant was very surprised but leapt to his feet and left the palace rejoicing. Just as he came out of the door, he bumped into another servant who owed him some money. It wasn't a lot of money, just a few coins. Even though the first servant had recently been forgiven by the king, he grabbed the second servant, gave him a good shake and demanded that he pay back the money. The second servant didn't have any money, so he too fell to his knees and cried out, I'm so sorry, if you'll give me a bit more time. I'll earn the money and then I'll pay you back everything that I owe you. The first servant took no notice and had him thrown into jail until he could pay the debt. When the king heard what was happened, he was very angry and asked for the first servant to be brought to his palace. I'm not happy at all, he roared. I forgave you and cancelled your debt because you asked me to. Why couldn't you have done the same thing for your fellow servant, rather than having been thrown into jail? I'm now sending you to jail until you can pay back your debt in full. Jesus explained to his friend Peter that God is like the king in the story. Christians believe that God forgives us every time we say that we are sorry for the things we've done wrong. And he wants us to treat our friends in a similar way, to forgive them every time they say sorry and to mend broken friendships. So I 
I've got some wondering questions for you. I wonder whether there's someone that you need to say sorry to. I wonder whether there's someone that you need to say sorry to. And the second question is, I wonder if there's a friend who you need to forgive. I wonder if there's a friend who you need to forgive. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you that if we say sorry to you, you give us a fresh start. Help us to forgive other people and find ways to be friends again. Amen. So let's say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So I hope to see you all again very soon. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>